Hey guys, Jen here back on the red carpet for Press Pass LA. Welcome to the annual Writers Guild Awards. We're about to talk to some of the top writers in town and see who takes home tonight's big prizes. Tell us what was the biggest challenge kind of in bringing this beloved, you know, book concept now going into season four to bring it to the screen and to, to make it resonate with audiences today? I think the challenge was don't mess it up. <laughs> it's such a beloved book. It's such a beautiful book. And uh, Bruce Miller, who adapted it, uh, created the show, did such a remarkable job um, capturing Margaret Atwood's world for TV. So I think every season we just want to maintain uh, a certain level of quality and a certain uh, what we want our stories to be entertaining and provocative. And it's just, um, I'm working with a very smart bunch of writers. We all inspire each other and we all, um, uh, you know, hold each other, I think, to a certain standard. So um, it, it seems to have turned out pretty well. We're back again this year, which is a great honor. It's a phenomenon. Anything we can expect for season four that you could kind of tease to us? Um, a lot of surprises. I don't think anyone's going to guess what's going to happen next. Well, what is it like being on you know, a team of writers and all kind of being tasked with bringing this book to life over the last few seasons? Tell us what it's kind of like in the writer's room and working together on different episodes. Well, our boss, Bruce, is uh, incredibly nurturing and giving and sweet. So our room is very safe where you can bat around ideas. And if it's a weird idea, no one's going to be like, what the hell, that sucks, what's wrong with you? And so what's amazing is that it's just a swirl of creativity that is free, right? I mean, oh, yeah. we basically, because it feels safe in there, we're all vulnerable. We all tell our kind of deepest, darkest secrets in there. And um, and really dive into how we feel about the world, how we feel about these characters, how we can identify with some of those feelings and why. And I think it 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 somehow leads to this amazing creation. Oh yeah. And the show goes. It really show, the, the show goes into some you know some weird territory and some dark territory. So um, you know I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Well, it's funny that. Um, when we were all first starting and whenever a new person comes on there's kind of this induction process where everybody's a little nervous to pitch something and then that person finally pitches something that's crazy and terrifying and horrible and, and it's awesome. like we all kind of come in and say you're one of us now and yeah. it's that moment it happens like we all it's usually an awesome idea that ends up in the show but it's also kind of fun because the person's a little timid and then they they finally can come out and be like let their freak flag fly and we can go handmaids all the way. So it's fun. I'm sure it's tough being a writer coming into a show that's like so acclaimed and done so well and then being like the new person and, and want to say your ideas but not being sure. And it's nice to hear that your writer's room is open because you you know you hear different things about different shows. What advice do you have for you know other up and coming writers who, who want to be in your position? I would say, I know it's it's a cliche, but just keep working, keep yeah. doing everything the best that you possibly can and embrace the, the work itself because, you know, it is hard. It is something you come to every day and you don't always want to hit it. Just keep doing it. Keep banging your head against the wall because it is going to pay off and yeah. it, just keep working. And getting the pages out. Just do it. Find and the if, joy. Yes. Find the joy. And I mean, we used to work at like 5 a.m. before our day jobs when we were assistants. And, you know, you're in a, in a city with a group of people a lot of people that are trying to do the same thing you do and passion's got to win out because there's no difference between writing at 5 a.m. or 3 a.m. when we are got a deadline except for that deadline or, our, or I guess our own personal deadline yeah. should be important too but it's you really just got to have to like be in that sweaty intense like just be in the trench and also find a really good dude to be in a trench with yes I mean come on